So the second layer of ketosis is going to be the better ketosis. So what does that mean? So we've got good, which is the salts. Uh, the, the better is something called medium chain triglycerides or MCT. Specifically, it's C8, C10. This really is gonna ask your liver to wake up and do its job of making ketones. Once you take the supplement, it'll start within about 15 minutes. It does not peak nearly as high as those salts do, but it lasts longer. Constantly feeding your liver what it needs to produce those ketones. Uh, again, this is MCT, medium chain triglyceride oil. It is a fat. It is not a uh, salt. It is not a... Um, your, your body is going to have to do the work. Uh, you're gonna feed this substance to your liver and you're gonna ask your liver to make ketones for the next several hours. So you don't get as high of a peak with, with the MCT oil, uh, the C8 and C10, we're gonna explain that in just a second, um, but you also, it does last longer because once you get the fuel produ production going in your liver, those little mitochondria um, production out of the liver is going to be more reliable. So let's talk about this. Fat is what we're trying to give you here. MCT is a fat. Specifically, the type of fat is called a C8 or C10. C8 says there are eight carbons in that fat chain. Uh, C10 says there are 10 carbons in that fat chain. And as much as that sounds goofy, I really think this is worth pointing out. So when you're looking at the chemistry sets here, this is part of the, uh, of the book that I wrote and I go through this really well in the chapter. But if you look at those large gray circles on this slide, you'll see that the first one saying C4, it's, it's not a bomb, it's that there are four of those dark circles and it's a carbon length that is four chains long. C6, if you count those little dark, uh, dark circle or those gray circles, there's six of those. Those are labeled small chain triglycerides or small chain fats, uh, small fat chains. Medium chains are labeled at the C8, meaning eight carbons, and C10, 10 carbons. What's curious is what happens at C12. And this is the key to understanding how to buy these when you go to the market. C12 needs to be digested. You're like, what? No, C12 is a long enough fat that you put it into your body and you're going to need to digest it. It doesn't get absorbed, which is what happens with small and medium chain triglycerides. Uh, specifically, let's look into the medium chain triglycerides. These two fats, namely C8 and C10, uh, have the special property that they do not need to be digested, which if you digest a fat, you swallow it down, it gets into your intestines, your intestines send the lymph cells over to the edge of the, uh, of the bowel, and as you absorb it, it needs to get checked by the policeman of your body saying, is it a toxin, is it safe to use? So it's gonna be a few hours before you get to use that fat as fuel, especially if there's carbohydrates consumed with that fat. Now let's go to C8, C10. C8, C10 get to a, the section early in the digestion system and it will absorb, meaning you do not need to digest it. It goes through the intestine and goes right into the vein that, that, that stops next at your liver. So it ports all of this uh, nutrients right into your liver and your liver is allowed to then uh, transition that C8, C10 into medium, into ketones. So um, it's a very unique fat that does give your body the power to make ketones for several hours. Um, so here's some, just an, one more way to look at this. I know I'm kind of beating a dead horse, horse there, but um, there are, again, you can see the chemical structure along the side here. Uh, and you can see the C4, C6, C8, C10, C12, 14. And so th those are the names of the, the fats. What I think is very interesting is, you know, when, when you look at the supplement world of C8 and C10, you'll often see that they come from coconuts. Uh, the majority of the coconut is C12. And they do have to spend quite a bit of energy, if you can see that count, percentage found in coconut oil. Half of the coconut is C12. 20% of the coconut is C14. Only six and about seven and eight percent of the of the coconut is C8 and C10. But that is the part that is rapidly absorbed into the body and then your liver 
gets to take it, break it down one little chink at a time and turn that fat into ketones. Again, your blood will have ketones in it for the better part of about five hours-ish after you've consumed that. Now, uh, I have that goat there <laughs> because if you look at the names of these, you can see the, the C4 is called butyric acid. Uh, C6, C8, and C10, you can see how they all start with C-A-P-R. Uh, and this is uh, the uh, Latin root name for goat. So <laughs> caproic, capri caprylic, and capric are the three fats that really are C6, 8, and 10. And they are very heavily found in goat products. So I just think that the, the coconut um, people, <laughs> marketing people, did a better job than the goat people did. Uh, but that's why you'll find higher C8, C10 fats in some of the, like, cheeses made from goat cheese. Anyway, goats have a lot of, of um, C8, C10, um, and their name reflects that. Okay, MCT oil, C8 and C10, uh, show you there. This is a fat, so remember, you are eating calories. If your body cannot um, process that C8, C10, you can see people really struggling with their weight loss when they are putting buckets of C8, C10 supplements into their diet. They'll put it in their coffee. Unfortunately, if they're putting just coconut oil in their coffee, most of the coconut is too big of a fat for you to really use as uh, the C8, C10. There are a few places in the world of medicine that I recommend to use supplements instead of the whole foods and C8, C10 is one of them. Like if you're trying to outsmart your liver, you really do either need to go to goat stuff or you need to use supplements uh, because they end up consuming so many fat calories that are not transitioned into ketones. Um, all right, so then remember, you are asking your liver cell uh, to make ketones. Liver cells make ketones. You have to feed your liver the kind of fats that it can turn into ketones if you want to increase ketosis. And your liver's pretty smart. As much as you haven't made a ketone in a long time, if you start feeding it C8, C10, it will begin to wake up and produce those ketones uh, pretty steadily. So uh, delivering these fats to your liver is a powerful metabolic advantage. And I do tell patients to do this. Um, the next one is kind of weird, but it's called practice absorbing fats. So you, you heard me talk about when you first use those salts, the salts get into your system, and if you've got heart failure, you can raise your blood pressure, you can do some other things about how fluid will follow salt. So use, make sure you're talking to your doctor as you do this. Um, but when it comes to C8, C10, I've had people start with buying C8, C10 oil, and I tell people to do that. It is the right kind of fat, and they will take a tablespoon of MCT oil, kind of like, I don't know, grandmothers used to take castor oil or something. They'll just take a tablespoon of it, and then they will chirp and chirp at me about how terrible the next few hours were because they sat on the toilet. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you, you told me you were a standard American diet last week, and now this week you're dumping oil down your gullet and expecting this to turn out well? That's not how the human body works. If you have been on a low fat diet, the cells in charge of absorbing fat are kind of lazy. They're gonna be wimpy. They will wake up. They will come alive, but not in 30 seconds. <laughs> you are gonna have to train them. You're gonna have to practice absorbing fats. So what I mean by this statement is, um, when I first uh, say, well, if you wanna be in ketosis and you wanna get your body headed in the right direction, some people are on way too many carbs to slam away their carbohydrate intake and be gone. For those people, I tell them, supplement. Just put the supplements in of the BHB salts. Do it every day for two weeks. But the next phase that I ask them to do is begin practicing absorbing fats. Take away those carbohydrates gently over those two weeks as you're on that supplement, but add these fats, specifically C8 and C10. They're really fun funky. They're kind of wonky on how they get absorbed. So the, the cells that are used to absorbing these very special fats, they are the laziest and the most quiet and the most dormant. So. I, at my support group, whenever somebody <laughs> has done this, we tell them to lick the spoon. And it's, a, it's almost a joke now because as soon as they come in, I'll look at the other people who've had the problem and say, what am I gonna tell them to do? And there's nothing better than the teacher teaching the students to be the teacher. 
So they say, yep, she's going to tell you to lick the spoon. And they're like, what? And I'm like, yep, just put a tiny drops of oil into your system. Uh, and what happens is you'll start to kind of nudge those cells awake without flushing your bowels down the, down the drain. Uh, because the people usually are, you know, they're over the age of 40, but many of them even in their early 40s, if they have a leaky gut, if they have a swollen gut, heavens to bitsy if they've had uh, either gluten sensitivity or gluten uh, allergies, um, celiac disease, all of those, in addition to any autoimmune problems of the gut, like um, Crohn's disease or uh, inflammatory bowel disease, uh, boy, I will tell you, it is a very sensitive patient that says, just hold on, this is a really powerful tool, but you cannot add two tablespoons from the first day. Lick the spoon and then advance those C8-C10s. It is a very powerful treatment, um, and you will find favor by using this as you go forward, but easing yourself into this is super powerful. Again, test ketones. You're like, Doc, I don't know if it's working. Okay. So you take C8, C10, and then hopefully you have a finger poker. <laughs> you have, you're checking your ketones. You can see in 30 minutes, what are your ketone levels? In, in an hour, what are your ketone levels? Uh, so don't just leave this to chance and suffer with the side effects. See if any of it went in while you're sitting there on the toilet. Uh, if you've got the diarrhea from too much C8, C10 at once, uh, see if there was any benefit. And the only person that's going to know that is you checking at the time that these ketones will be in circulation for the next couple of hours. At Amazon, you will find uh, the next product that I have added, which is I took those BHB salts, the ones with the higher magnesium, and I took an MCT powder that is specifically made with C8 and C10. And I, I added stevia, so my husband cannot have this, but it tastes really good. So one of the other things I always I would tell uh, patients was once you get used to using BHB salts, add heavy whipping cream <laughs> to your or add MCT oil to your to your drink. Well, if they're teenagers, they do not want to add uh, MCT oil to their uh, drink because it wasn't it didn't taste good when you just drank it. It doesn't taste anything. It just heavy cream added to their drink made them happy. That tasted good. They liked that. Um, but when I would add uh, just MCT oil, not the powdered oil, but the oil, dang, they did not like me. Uh, so adding BHB, which are the salts for ketones, will increase your ketones for two to three hours. Adding the MCT C8, C10 will bridge you for the next up to five hours while your kidney makes ketones from that supplement. You know, this um, isn't um, something I was planning on doing, but I have found, um, again, when I reach for a product that I am trying to find that I trust and it's not there, that's what makes me put the energy, time, and effort into making one. And then I don't have products that I don't use myself. So this, um, to me, I am very keto adapted. I can have C8, C10 without causing diarrhea. And I particularly like to use this whenever I have traveled or fallen off the wagon or I'm not as easily um, I just I wasn't perfect please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos stay tuned